Hi, I'm Carolyn Collins Peterson. Welcome to the Astronomer's Universe, where we'll take a close look at what professional astronomers are observing and what they're learning. When astronomers look at the universe on the largest scales, they observe cosmic structure as far as they can see. Today, we're going to explore that structure by studying an image called the big picture and what it teaches us about the universe. You can think of structure as the way things are organized in the cosmos. Stars gather together to make galaxies. For example, our Milky Way galaxy is made up of about 400 billion individual stars. Galaxies themselves assemble together into groups and clusters. The Milky Way is part of a gathering of more than 40 galaxies called the local group. Beyond that are galaxy clusters. Then we get to the clusters of clusters called superclusters. If you could travel far enough away to observe all the galaxies in these clusters and superclusters, you would see what astronomers call the large-scale structure of the universe. It would look like a glowing filamentary network of light laced around a system of bubbles and voids. Cosmologists have come up with these images of the universe, which are really models based on real data sets. They're compiled from observations made in various wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. Let's take a step out to the large-scale structure from an area of the sky that anyone can observe. When you go out on a clear night in late April or early May, look for a constellation called Virgo. The area of space it encompasses is well away from the plane of the Milky Way galaxy, which means that there are fewer bright stars in it. This region provides us a window on the more distant universe. A group of astronomers at California Institute of Technology and Yale University took advantage of this window to photograph a tiny part of the sky in Virgo. They used a special instrument called the Quest Camera, attached to the Samuel Ocean Telescope on Palomar Mountain in California. The result was an astounding image called the Big Picture. The astonishing thing about this view is, if you hold your extended index finger out, about a foot away in front of your eye, it would block out the entire area of sky captured in this image. The Big Picture has been turned into a fantastic exhibit at Griffith Observatory. It's also available online for you to examine. When you look at the big picture, you see images of hundreds of thousands of stars from our own galaxy, and about a million other galaxies, all part of our nearby universe. There are also nearly a thousand quasars shown in the picture. These are the active cores of galaxies, and they encompass the more distant universe. Finally, there are hundreds of asteroids and at least one comet in the big picture. These are all part of our own solar system. The stars, galaxies, quasars, asteroids, and comet in the big picture all extend through an immense region of space. Each of these objects lies at a different distance from us. Now imagine if you could leave Earth and travel out through the big picture you would first pass through the solar system and then through the stars of our own Milky Way galaxy. Beyond the Milky Way and our local group, you would find yourself traveling across an immense gap, tens of millions of light years deep. The fuzzy patches of light you see are distant galaxies that lie beyond that gap. They belong to the Virgo cluster, which has thousands of galaxies, and many of those are much larger than the Milky Way. The Virgo Cluster is dominated by a stunning group of galaxies, and from our point of view on Earth, they appear to make up a curved arc called Markarian's Chain. Not far from Markarian's Chain is the giant M87 elliptical galaxy and its smaller companions. Anywhere you look during your imaginary flight through the big picture, you'll see galaxies. You can even find them merging together in a beautiful cosmic dance. Beyond the Virgo Cluster, there is another gap. And even more galaxies lie beyond that gap, as far as we can see. Galaxies and galaxy clusters make up the fundamental structure of the universe. As far as we know, 
The structure of the universe looks the same in every direction, a property that astronomers call isotropy. And if you visit the big picture online or at Griffith Observatory, you too can get a tiny peek at that cosmic structure. For the Astronomer's Universe, I'm Carolyn Collins-Peterson, astrocast.tv.